Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at the Soyo K7V Dragon Plus motherboard. Soyo has really bundled a lot of product with this motherboard. You have thermal paste included in this, you have an expansion audio board. This goes in conjunction with the onboard audio that is on this motherboard. You have on this the center, the base, the rear, you have optical in, optical out, coax in, coax out. Also included in here is a smart card reader. In the smart card reader at the front you have two USB connections right there. Also some very useful software, Adobe Active Share, Norton Ghost, Norton Antivirus, and also in here is a trial version of WinDVD. Of course it comes with the drivers you'll need. Also the cables, this is the cables for your CD-ROM, your hard drive, your floppy drive, and a really thick, very well documented manual. Let me now go over some of the features on this motherboard. You have the AGP 1x, 2x, 4x AGP Pro slot right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 PCI slots. You have the Promise Fast Track RAID configuration right there. Your floppy, your extra IDE. This is the ATA100 support, of course, on this motherboard. Memory, you have three banks. You can put, of course, DDR memory up to three gigabytes in here. Right here is where your AMD Athlon XP or your Duron CPU would be installed. On the back here, we have the keyboard and the mouse connections right here. At the very top, you have a Ethernet 10 slash 100 connection. Right here, you have USB connections, a printer port right here, two COM ports, you have a game port, of course this is the C Media audio which is on board, of course this is used in unison with this expansion board. As for the expansion audio board as well as a smart card reader and a few other details, let me now show you where all that is located. Right here is where the smart card would be connected. You have USB connectors right here and here. Right here is where you would connect the power LEDs, hard drive LEDs, reset buttons, power buttons to your case. Right here is actually where the expansion board, this is this board right here, would get plugged into right here. On this board you have areas to plug in extra fans. You have one, two right here, as well right here and at the very bottom right here. Let me now show you some of the BIOS features. First thing I'll be looking at in the top left hand corner they have what's called a Soyo combo feature within here you can change these things as the system performance go down and change the CPU frequency select this setting is dependent whether you have a Duron or an Athlon based CPU also in here you can do the frequency stepping this is where you would change the front side bus settings one megahertz at a time so that's very convenient for overclocking. Also in here you can change the multiplier and of course you would need to unlock your CPU first with the pencil trick or order an unlocking kit to do that. Also we have a CPU vCore select this is where you would change increase or decrease the voltage on your CPU. Soyo has done something a little different here. If you'll notice that it does a plus or a minus on the default voltage to equal what you would get at the end. For an example, if you have a Dura 1 gigahertz and you have it at 0.1 volts here in the BIOS, you select that, the voltage that you will end up with is around 1.85. Also in here you can select things like as the first boot, the second boot, the third boot, and of course this is when you're booting the system. Also down here at the bottom you have what's called a CIH four-way protection. This is basically protection for the BIOS and what it means is that you can only flash the BIOS by using a software program in DOS called AWD Flash. So that's what that feature does. 
Also down here we have an onboard Promise IDE RAID. You can either enable or disable that. You have to do that from both setting on the motherboard itself as well as enabling or disabling it here in the BIOS. Also we have what's called the onboard six channel audio. You can enable or disable that feature. Also down here we have the onboard LAN. This is a network chip. You can of course enable or disable this as well. Next we have the standard CMOS features. This is a very, very common feature almost on every single motherboard. You have the time, the date, and your IDE drives here as well. Selections here for your floppy disks and so on. Here is the advanced BIOS features. In here you can enable and disable things like virus warning, CPU internal cache, external cache, and so on. Very standard to a lot of systems. The advanced chipset features. Now in here you can change things like the DRAM clock drive control, the AGP, the P2P bridge control, and the CPU and PCI bus control. I'll go into the first one here, the DRAM clock. In here you can change and you can really tweak the memory settings from this area right here. You can go by speed and all of these will be changed dependent on the speed of your memory and of course you can override this in manual and change different things like the CIS latency, the bank interleave and so on. Also going on to the AGP, the P2P bridge, you can go into things like AGP aperture size, AGP mode, AGP driving control and so on. Going on to the CPU and PCI bus control, in here you can enable and disable things like the PCI master zero, the BOS state, the post write and delay transaction state. The integrated peripherals is yet another very common feature to a lot of boards. This is a little different in the sense that it gives you this menu first and you can choose and select things from here. Things like onboard USB controller, you can go to all disabled, you can enable all, you can ena enable the 1 and 2, the 2 and 3, the 1 and 3, so you've got lots of control in here for the, the USB, as well as you can have USB keyboard support, you can enable or disable that. Going back to the very top here, we have what's called the VIA on-chip IDE device. Within here, you can enable and disable the on-chip IDE channel. 1 and 0, dependent if you want to do that, give you good control there. The Super I.O. device is the next thing you can select here. You can go in here and you can actually change it. You can enable or disable the onboard FDC controller. You can also change your serial ports settings as well as disabling those. And as well you can really see the parallel port configuration and the parallel mode configuration in this area. Also, power management setup is another feature in this BIOS. In here, you can control such things as the ACPI suspend type, depending what you want to do there. You can also do hard drive power downs, suspend modes, video off options, and so on and so forth. And this feature is also pretty common now on a lot of motherboards. Going on here to the plug and play configuration. In here you can enable or disable the plug and play OS install if you have an operating system that does support plug and play. Of course enabling this would give you the ability to use plug and play in different devices that you connect to your computer. At the very top right here we have what's called a PC health status. In here we can view such things as the CPU voltage, the memory voltage and other voltages as well. We can also view the current CPU temperature, the current system temperature and also current fan speeds. And at the top we have what's called the FOC, fan off control. You have the option of enabling or disabling this. Soyo has really packaged a lot of product for the money, certainly big bang for the buck here. You have the smart card reader, they threw in the thermal paste, a great well documented manual, fantastic audio, great software included, very useful software that you can actually use. Also of course you've got the cables, you've got even a network card. A 10 slash 100 on board. The only thing that's missing on this is the ATA 133 video on board as well as a USB. Those three things though are extremely minor considering the price on this motherboard. In saying all that, I give this motherboard a 9 out of 10. I love this motherboard. 
Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back in a few days. I will have.